This is the valve portion of the S6A governor. And uh, this is the cutout valve on the left. The cut-in valve on the right, it has a vent hole. There should be no leakage through that hole if the valves are seated correctly, except when it's cutting in and cutting out for a matter of a couple of seconds. To adjust this, you normally take the cap nuts off, and these things take patience. But it's been properly cleaned. You set the cap, the uh, adjusters, so they're roughly equal. This is the cutout again on the left and the cut in on the right. So they're roughly equal there. Now we start the compressor up and we run it to see where the cutout point is. When the cutout point is hit, we shut the compressor off and we note where that is. Maybe it's 50 pounds or 60 pounds, say. Now we, uh, with the compressor shut off, we drain the tank until we hear the cut in click in or you can remove the cover and actually physically watch it I just listen to it you hear it kick in and maybe it's kicking in at at uh, 20 pounds say so now you adjust it piece by piece each time you make an adjustment the cap that's have to be put back on and tightened so now let's say we're at 60 we want to raise it to 70 so maybe we turn it to two or three turn quarter turns maybe maybe even a full turn that's going to raise us up maybe five pounds maybe a little more so, and we know that this one was a little low too, so we'll set it down a little bit as well. And it's all trial and error. Cap nuts go back on. You run it back up again. Okay, now it's, it's pretty close to 70, which is where we want it. And as we see, that's fine. Uh, so it cuts out. Now we will drop the pressure back down again to see where it's going to cut in. We raised it a little bit last time. So now it's maybe around 45 pounds. We want it up around 55. So maybe we'll raise that up a little bit. You don't want to get them too close together because it'll cut in and cut out and you'll get arcing, really severe arcing. And it'll just go and that's, you don't want that. So now we put the cap nuts back on, we run the compressor back up, it cuts out at 70 where it was before, it's where we want it. We shut the compressor off, we drop the air down and we see where it cuts in. Okay, now it's around 50. We want it at 55 for standard setting at 55 to 70. So, so we just turned a couple of turns carefully cabinets go back on or walk back on and that's it that's all there is to it it will vent as it's cutting in and cutting out here but any leakage at this point when the compressor when, when it's not either cutting in or cutting out indicates leakage in the cut uh, if there's leakage to cut in valve vent the, the cut out valve is not seated and maybe needs to be lapped so it's the opposite of what you think and uh, that's all there is. It will uh, leak a little bit just coming into cut in, uh, cut in position or cut out position. But in normal operation between those two points, you shouldn't have leakage. That would indicate improperly seated valve, which is not that uncommon. And that's it. It just takes a lot of patience and a lot of goofing around. Screw down to increase? Yes. Screw Clock, out? Yeah. Clockwise to increase pressure on both of them and counterclockwise to reduce pressure.